Nico Burns tried to call me. I did not pick up. Nice to meet. I then went for a walk. Nice to meet. And then uh, I thought I'd better call back that person. And I did, and she told me that I got nominated. And so I then walked around in a bit of a day for a while. And then I watched a kids show where uh, they just throw sweets at the kids and tell the kids that they're idiots. And uh, it's one of the best things I've seen this year. So, uh, it was a good couple of hours. Uh, my agent told me after my show, um, I had to, I, I, it's actually five weeks ago, in a Chinese restaurant, I got a fortune and said, you will get nominated to the table at the end of the comedy festival. I believe that's how I found out that I was nominated for the award. It wasn't for a phone call from my agent, if that's what it was. Uh, my my um, agent phoned me and told me I was showing uh, the world miles to my mum. Not like I was, I mean, I was like my mum and family, but she'd come to visit, so that was nice. And then I took yeah. the phone call, and then um, I told my mum, and then had to spend a few minutes explaining to what that meant, because obviously, why should she care what that is? So, yeah, that's how I found out I was in the world mile with the wife, kids, and mummy. Very exciting, really nice time. I was explaining to my mum that she shouldn't take flyers from everybody. She should be selected. Um, she spent 12 to 13 minutes looking at a statue, like a, a, like a living statue, thinking there was something more to be gained from it. I said to her, there's no twist ending. It's like Sixth Sense. Nothing happens. That's, you're watching, you're seeing what's happening there. You know, we need to move on. So I wasn't in the best frame of mind, but, you know, it was a nice little tonic after dealing with that. Uh, on the telephone in New York, I was doing a gig for the uh, Alternative, Alternative Comedies Guild or something. So I had no one to share it with because I didn't know any of them. And because I'm Australian, they didn't want to talk to me anyway because we were anti-Australian sometimes. So I had no one to celebrate with. I was in a yurt and then I just went outside and yelled. Yes. Uh, so I was in uh, an art shop, quite culturally. I buy, every year I buy a painting made from the same shop. And I was trying to choose a painting and I couldn't. And then my phone rang and my agent said, uh, be nominated, so I um, left the shop. I didn't buy. I'm going to go back and buy a painting tomorrow. I got a phone call from my agent, which I gather is the regulated way that you find out. Um, and uh, I was in a coffee shop with my boyfriend. I had only known that the awards nominations were going to be that day because someone had emailed me and wished me luck for tomorrow. And I said, like, Oh, why do you even want that in your head? You're in Edinburgh. You don't want me thinking about it. And then. Um, and about half past one, my agent phoned me, and I was very cool about it. Because my boyfriend's a comic as well, we were together, and I answered the phone, like, yeah, huh? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Okay, speak to you later. Bye. And he was like, what's that? And I was like, oh, you just got nominated. <laughs> he it out. And then he was so nice, he was like, we have to keep the spoons. We have to steal stuff from the table. Remember it. <laughs>